What you doing, Blair? Going camping? No, no, I'm just packing for SDCC because we're taking one lucky DC All Access viewer and a friend to all four days of the show and the preview night. So I want to make sure we have enough supplies. Okay, that is awesome. But why don't you wrap it up? Because we've got a huge show today. We're going behind the scenes of the new Justice League War movie. And Dan DiDio and Jeff Johns have a really big announcement. So mm -hmm. finish up because Comic Con's out for a few months. Yeah, but my motto is always be prepared. So if you actually just hold this like this, just stretch that. Top okay. Out. okay. What? What? There's, I don't think there's any more room and it's not gonna fit, Blair. Well, not with that attitude, it's not. Hey, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Hey, Dan. How was it going? I'm so surprised to see you here. What are the odds of you being in your office at this time of day? I'm, uh, I'm actually <laughs> busy talking to somebody uh, right now. Uh, is this who I think it is? It is, this is the king of all artists. Here we go, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Joining DC staff of Audis right now is Mr. John Bermuda Jr. Welcome aboard. This is really exciting for us. Thank you. That's really nice to hear that. And I'm, I'm really excited about it, too. If you want to let the people know what you're planning to work on with Jeff, you you can roll it out, sir. I, I can actually say it? Sure, why wow, not? Okay. Let the world know. Right. We're going to work on Superman. There you yes, go. We're taking over uh, the Superman monthly comic book this summer. We've been talking about Superman now for quite a while, and, and uh, it's going to be a blast. This is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be very interesting. I actually am a little intimidated seeing how many great artists that have done it, done his uh, uh, images before. This is not an easy thing to sail smoothly through. I, I share your nervousness, but I also have confidence. I'm really excited about about the pair up, man. Well, we're all super excited by it, dude. This is this is a big time for us, and honestly, I couldn't think that Superman couldn't be in better hands right now. So this is a this is a great moment for us, and you know what? That's just the first of hopefully many characters you get to draw at DC Comics. So uh, I'm you. looking forward to seeing everything you got coming. Guys, great talking to you. Well, thanks for joining me, ladies. Uh, Marguerite, when you were plotting out this story, what was your vision for the Joker's daughter? Um, sort of my vision for this incarnation of the character was to have the idea of Joker's daughter as sort of a pilgrim in search of her god. So to her, the Joker is the god of death, and this is the person that she's chosen to dedicate herself to, and the, the one that's going to elevate her and save her. And since he's gone, since he fell, she's sort of taken it upon her as, you know, this is her sacred quest, that she needs to go and resurrect her god. She's going to raise the devil. Megan, the Joker tends to see ugly things in a very beautiful light. Was it a challenge to incorporate that into the artwork? Honestly, it's just kind of where I naturally go to. So Joker's Daughter was really kind of like my own personal mm -hmm. preference of mm -hmm. artwork. But then Marguerite gave me these great descriptions. <laughs> and we, were, we were texting throughout the entire project. And my favorite one that I got from her was asking, you know, can we make this one scene more disturbing and erotic? And I was like, <laughs> I'm 100% on board for more disturbing and okay. around this character, so I hope you enjoy. Tweet me if you find that page. <laughs> okay, so we're in the home stretch of Forever Evil. If someone's just jumping on, what do they need to know? The Injustice League is fighting the crime syndicate, which has come from an alternate dimension and is even more evil, if it's possible, than the most evil villains on Earth. And so all the villains on Earth are, are fighting the worst villains that have come to try and take over. What is it like working with Jeff that's a little bit different than working with other writers? I find, you know, with a, with a great writer, I get the script and I feel like I'm in their head because they, they get it across in the script really well. And Jeff really does that. Also, something I love about his scripts is he puts in little pictures all the time. If he has something in mind, like a panel from a comic 30 years ago, he'll actually put that right into the script. So that stuff kind of speaks to me. What was it like getting to put your own spin on the crime syndicate? Uh, when I designed the characters, actually, it was the first time I'd ever done it this way. I've got a Cintiq. Uh, which is a big tablet and I, I connected with Jeff Johns and gave him a screen share and so we designed them together you know he said maybe the cape a little higher how about this here how about that here so it was a real back and forth and really that's something that we just weren't able to do only a few years ago Check out the new Black Milk Batman line. It's so good. Black Milk leggings? Get out of my head, Smith! That was weird. So this is a take off of the comic book that yes. Jeff Johns and Jim Lee did, uh -huh. Justice League Origin. 
how do you take that and then tweak it? Do you feel pressure? Oh, of course. <laughs> because it was his artwork that we were trying to emulate, one of the things I wanted to do is just big action and give it that kind of feel that he gave in the comic books. So you've been doing voiceover coaching for a while. How do you get the actors to do the perfect superhero or villain voice? You can almost tell them to stand arms akimbo, which is arms on the hip, which gives them that broad shoulder, and that kind of puts them in the right placement. And then, if it's the right actor and they've got the right voice, it's really just in the performance. A lot of the actors in this movie are first-time voiceover actors. Yes. What's that like? Because this is like a whole new different universe, it's mm -hmm. kind of nice to just come in with new actors, new kind of fresh faces. For example, Cyborg. Shamar Moore was somebody that I really wanted to use, and I had no idea how he would portray him, but I just knew he was a great actor. And I got a phone call and said, uh, there's this thing called Justice League, which I knew about. And I knew that I had heard about this character named Cyborg, but I had coaches, you know, sitting there in the on the other side of the yeah. booth, you know, kind of walking me through. I'll say, okay, you've got a punch, throw a punch, and then take a punch. It sounds like this. <laughs> is when you get hit, and ah, is when you punch. <laughs> and then they'll just echo me. <laughs> <laughs> See? Exactly. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Okay. Ow! Yes! <laughs> so DC movies can't get much more epic than Justice League War, because I mean, come on, you guys. It's the Justice League, and they're at war. We want to know your favorite DC animated movies, so leave it below in the comments. Okay, two SDCC show passes, check. Okay, that is awesome because you can't get those anywhere anymore. Yes, uh, speaking of sold out, got these two hotel room keys, got airfare vouchers, we're all set, we're good to go. Um, but Comic-Con's not for six months still, Blair. Yeah, but LA traffic being what it is, meet me in the parking garage like 15 minutes. Then that's like, Crazy, Bla Hey, hey Blair, wait up. You can't have all the Comic-Con exclusives! So you guys have watched the show, you know that this season we are giving away show passes to San Diego Comic-Con. Yep, all you have to do, just like last season, is click right here, answer a few, three to be exact, simple trivia questions on dccomics.com slash watch and win for a chance to win after you watch, that's why we named it slash watch and win. Exactly, yeah. and while you're at it, why don't you subscribe to the DC Comics YouTube channel so you guys can find out all the exclusives, all the giveaways, and find out everything that's going on in the DC universe every single day. Mm -hmm. That simple. Yeah, operators are standing by. There's literally no one standing by. But it's so fun to say, operators are standing by.